So Chloe and Max legit are still going, you know, back and forth right now due to the drama. Now Chloe has made a video responding to exactly what's been written right here, right now, um, by Max. Now what I'm going to do is just to give you guys a, a, a quick little background on exactly what's happening, in case you don't know. I'm just gonna read the very first bit of stuff in particular here, and then after that, I'm then going to play the video of Chloe responding to everything that Max has to say. But I will also link leave the link down below in the comment section if you want to also read. Um, the other paragraphs at the bottom as well can give you guys another video that you need to. But right now, reading this here will be more than enough to continue with Chloe's video stuff in particular. But as you can see here, Max has decided to come out, and this is what he says. Just to address this stupid allegation, I never kicked my daughter, and I threw my phone at Chloe five years ago. I never abused her. <laughs> Talk about contradicting yourself in the first sentence. Okay. So please, all of you, stop acting like you have any clue on what's going on the last few years because you really don't. All you see is what the media wants you to see. And if you're too ignorant and stupid to see that, then I honestly don't give a sh about your opinion anyway. I would never hurt my baby girl. And I have been sober working the same job since, since 09, 2020. Was paying thousands for a lawyer to get custody and Chloe was hiding. She got served by certified email. That's how bad it was. And I had to get approval from a judge just to get her damn paperwork. She also didn't show up to any court dates except the very last. The reason, why, the reason I don't have custody, unfortunately, is because I, was, I wasn't able to afford keep paying the lawyer. If I had more money at the time, I'd have Ava right now, guaranteed. I'm not on probation and I'm sober. So, <clears throat> so there is... <clears throat> So, my apologies, I'm losing my voice here. So there really is zero thing stopping me from getting her back other than her mom hiding and racking up my lawyer bills through the roof. When, um, when, she, hides, when she hides, my lawyer still has to get paid, uh, but the court is put on pause. So this is the nitty and gritty of exactly what has been going down. Like I said before, the last bit here, I will leave it at, but we'll still be ready for you guys to check it out if you want to after this video. Um, obviously in the comment section, but now we're going to get into exactly what uh, Chloe had to say. Just because I already did that um, in a video called like exposing the lies, um, I included him admitting to it, but blaming it on drugs. I included the CPS documents and I also talked about why my child was granted on the restraining order. If you want to go watch that, you can. In his comments, he said that he never abused me. He just threw his phone at me, which is still abuse. And I wish I had the pictures that the police took. I'm sure I can find them somewhere, or I'm sure there's probably a website where they're available to the public. But I had a big old goose egg on my head. Um, so I would say that's abuse, and I feel like everybody else would too. Um, but also, that was not the only incident. 2018, I got a restraining order on him for slapping me. And I will admit that that wasn't my idea. Um, it was my parents trying to protect me. But that was granted because he admitted it to the judge. Yeah, I slapped her, but I was drinking. Um, so there's that. Also, another public one that he could just look up if he wanted to um, is the one after the phone throwing. He also threw something else at me and I called the police again, which is why there's a police report. Um, also pictures taken and he was had court for that as well. Also, I am not the only victim of his. I feel like he forgets um, breaking Morgan's teeth and leaving bruises on her arm. So I feel like he just forgets that. He also claims that he has been sober since September of 2020, which he has lied about that date, the date of sobriety so many times. And I go also go into, I go into a lot of this in my exposing the lies video um, with all of the dates of him like changing it so many times. But also if that were true, why were you arrested in February of, well, last month why were you arrested last month for drug use the next claim i want to address is him i mean before we even continue even just that stuff alone if you're gonna get arrested for drug use and you're saying that you'd have cost of your child by now yeah it's very very unlikely come on you listen keep, keep 100 you know somebody that wants to get their child isn't going to be in a position where they can get arrested for drug abuse or even be around drug use you understand? so that is right away where he already catches max out but 
I'm saying I was hiding from him. Um, contrary to your belief, I am not scared of you. Um, your record is as long as freaking Walgreens receipt. I think I'll be fine. Um, but a court person who serves papers showed up to my parents' house and my dad answered the door and they said, does Chloe Mendoza live here? And I did not live there. I did not live with my parents. So he said no. Um, and we didn't even know what it was for. So we weren't hiding from him. We just, I didn't live there. And it's kind of hard to serve someone when you don't have their address. So yeah, the judge was right. You should have done it in an email, which eventually ended up happening. Um, but yeah, I wasn't hiding from you. He also wants to say that I didn't show up for court, which is really funny because he has his court cases confused, which is understandable because he always has so many. The custody thing never went to court. Let me tell you what happened. He did file for custody um, in his file thing that his attorneys sent to me. Um, there was lots of lies saying that there's never been a history of domestic violence between me and him. He's never had substance abuse problems, which is so crazy to lie about on a legal document when there's other legal documents saying the complete opposite. So I got with my person and we responded and said, no, there actually was domestic violence and substance abuse problems. Like this whole thing's a lie. And then I got um, a letter in the mail from his attorney saying that they were withdrawing from counsel. And this is all public too. Like if you look up the court case, it says like filed and then res I'm the respondent responded. And then um, his lawyers, whatever, withdrew from counsel. <laughs> so, and then the court case got put on the inactive calendar because nothing was happening with it. He wasn't doing anything further and I definitely am not gonna do anything further with that. So it got put on the inactive calendar, which you can see, and then he filed for it because it was gonna get dismissed. So he filed for it to continue on the inactive calendar, um, implying that he was gonna do something and he never did. That's, it never went to court where it was me and him and we were talking about custody. That never happened. What he is mixing it up with is when he took me to court to try and get my child off of the restraining order and have it just be me. Um, that is the only time I have ever been in a courtroom with him. I don't really believe that he's mixing up anything, to be honest with you. I just feel like at the end of the day, if he is telling lies, he knows what he's doing. He knows how to mix certain things together. So therefore, they have an element of truth behind it. He's, you only mix things if you're telling the truth. And really and truly, that is the question. Is Max true? But either way, though, I get it. And that was before he filed for custody. So he's mixing those up. So yeah, we went to court for trying to get my child off the restraining order. And of course the judge denied it because he is a rule breaker, like doesn't like to follow the laws and broke the rules of the restraining order so many times. And I had the documentation from CPS saying that he is not good to be around her. So uh, yeah, that's what he's confusing it with. We never went to court for custody though. So I don't know what he's talking about with me missing court. If I were to miss a court date, the judge would find me in contempt of court and would rule in his favor. So I would obviously never do that, which is so crazy because you would think he knows all of this information considering how much he misses his court dates because there was a warrant on him last month for not showing up to court. Um, again, all public information situation, just because I already did that, um, in a video called like exposing the lies. Um, of course, you know, she's come out obviously with her own response here. You know what I mean? And obviously she's covered pretty much everything that I write for you guys. Obviously the extra things were just things that, you know, wasn't necessarily addressed. But like I said before, if you want to check them out, you can probably, but Max obviously decided to post, uh, to comment, so I say on this post. As you can see, he says that I sent this page video. Let's see if they post it or laugh out loud and we'll see the bigger picture. So, Rich, so the question is this though. So, so I guess in the meantime, I'll be waiting to see if they do post the one that Max is talking about, see what he's going to say. And then of course, as well, uh, obviously, you know, what he said. But, but right now I'd say it's definitely not looking good for Max. I mean, listen, to be honest with you, at the end of the day, you know, um, it's, it's sad that these two have a child. You know, that's just the main problem, isn't it now? They have a child and uh, this is how things are being dealt with. 
really and truly, you know, whether or not parents stay together or not, a child is, just, is still supposed to have both mum or in a healthy way. And it's sad that, you know, Ava is experiencing it's a situation that happened. It's just pathetic and childish. And it's but um, again, I'll be back to let you guys know, of course, you know, what uh, Max says if they decide to. But to be fair, the one thing that I always say this is a little side note. Where the hell is the next season? Like, I think next season, like season six, right? They're taking too long with this. Like, come on, like, bring back the, like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to see the next season already. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been too long. But hey, with that being said, though, let me know your thoughts and uh, your thoughts and opinions down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course.